Now, this is the, one of the things I, I talk about very... Well, no, I won't say I talk about it all the time. But when I talk about a game making you care about its characters, like, even though we don't really... You know, we've only, we haven't seen much of King Pavan, to be honest, have we? And um, we didn't really see much about it or the kingdom or whatever. What this game does well is making you care about the significant character or aspect of each individual town storyline. Even though you have the overbearing storyline of Dolmagus in the back of your head, every town you go to has an individual storyline, which makes you care about it. It's not like, oh my god, after the stupid side quest or whatever, because every time we've done that, like Fabry was called Arasha, um, uh, Alexandria was about the Tower and Jessica and you know their family, which was interesting. Port Prospect is about the sailors and you know the calamari and whatnot. Um, Peregrine Quay uh, or Key is to do with you know finding out about the the Templars and whatnot. Listening to the stories of the thief and the the priest guy on the boat, um, Malarabi, Templars, Simpleton, the whole idea about Angelo, Marcello, you know, whatnot. And then we go here and we learn about King Pavan. Like, all of it's interesting. It makes you care more about the characters. You get this more backstory. And even though you're only there for a short amount of time within the wide context of the game, it does it very well. Um, instead of making characters that you don't really care about and you're only there for the loot and crap. Whereas with this, to me, I care about these characters and that's just not, not because I play the game a lot, it's just even when I did it the first time, it, you know, you feel this kind of gratification reward type of thing, even though you haven't really done anything and you're not really going to get in, in, anything out of it other than you've just helped the character do whatever. And uh, to me, that's good storytelling even while you have this overbearing aspect of Dolmagus being there and overlining you know character plot direction um but i just wanted to throw that out there like this is what i'm talking about when i talk about um quests or missions you care about other than find x bring it back i'll give you a reward because of whatever reason which i don't care about this is stuff i care about when i actually give you some backstory multiple different um viewpoints on a subject and it seems like it's a main quest, but it's not. They technically are main quests, but they're only, you know, very short, like a side quest would be. But anyway, I just wanted to throw that out there. Yangus wasn't hasn't stopped eating yet. And uh, King Pavan's probably like, you know, what the hell? I've kind of forgot what I said. Script! You know, something like that. So let's continue. It felt like a dream. But I believe in what I saw. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks to you and Emma, I've finally woken up from an unbearable nightmare. Now, I can be a proper king to my people again. I cannot thank you enough. If there is ever anything I can do for you... Lag. Please do not hesitate to ask. I swear... I will do anything in my power to repay you. Anything at all I can do to help. Farewell, my friends. May fortune ride with you on your continuing journey. I hope we will meet again soon. What up, Pavan? So you're chasing after Jester called Dolmagus. Well, I'm afraid I haven't heard talk of anyone like that passing through a scan for. That's not much used to, I know. I know I was just saying now I wanted to help you. I'm sorry. Alright, we can talk to everyone individually, which uh, we'll do. Hey, where the Itchy Marie bloke <laughs> Itchy Marie, uh, disappeared to? Feels like it was all some kind of weird dream, doesn't it? So that sissy of the king has finally pulled himself together and started to behave like a real man again. Uh, you know what I mean. I didn't mean to blot it out quite like that, though. Maybe I've had a bit too much of the old moonshine. That made me think about Alistair, I suppose. He lives on, too, in my heart. Uh, that's pretty self-explanatory. What the hell is that? That's a massive freaking turkey thing. What's this? Just a giant fish. Alright. Let's get out of there. 
Now, all we have to do is go ahead towards Pickham. That's it. So we get outside, go to the inn. You know, general ensemble. But, uh, yeah, well, I was mentioning that stuff barely took an hour to do. So. Alright, let's just go down there and let's go ahead and save the game. I need to get some more supplies, to be honest. Alright. Alright. What? I got changed in my favorite dress and everything. Why do I have to stay here and look after the shop? It's not fair. <laughs> That's funny. Please enjoy your stay. Alright, now I'm trying to remember what stuff I want to get and pick them. There's only a couple, to be honest. Please come again. Thank you very much, little girl, for putting me up for the night because, uh, yeah, the king couldn't do that. No. I had to do it. <laughs> Small favor, my ass. Alright. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little break right here. So, again, you won't notice, but uh, I'll catch you in a sec. Alright, we're back, and uh, I was just, you know, checking a couple of things. The Wing of Bats used for a couple of um, demonic items that you can make holy. Uh, yeah, I'll have to explain it later on, but... There's like demonic items in this game, or kind of cursed items, where if you equip it, you become cursed, right? And then you have to become uncursed to, you know, do anything decent anyway. And if you combine it with an item known as Saint's Ashes, then, uh, you know, it becomes holy again, so you can use it. Well, it's alright for some, isn't it? No doubt King Pavan treated you to plenty of fine food and drink, you lucky toads. The princess and I have been waiting, you know, stuck here outside town. And Medea isn't much for conversation these days, hmm? I know how you feel, Grandad. If only you weren't so, uh, green. Eh? Maybe we could get you into town, and you could have a drink or something. I ain't exactly a look at myself. I know what it's like to be discriminated against. Discriminated. Wake up. I've got an idea. The town I used to live in ain't too far south of here. How about we head off down there, eh? Sure. Pickham ain't no rose garden, but it's in the middle of nowhere, right? Even a strange old geezer like him would fit in, no problem. Old granddaddy will be able to get himself a drink. And we might get a clue about where that dull Magus has got to and all. There's a bloke there who knows everything about everything. We call him Brains. He's a mate of mine. He'll know something, dead sir. See? Two birds with one stone, eh? I ain't just a pretty face. Come on, let's get going south. Pick them, here we come. There we go. Now, during that conversation, I completely forgot about getting supplies, so I'm going to do that real quick. There's another little aspect of character development, King Troad. Like, even though he's a king, he gets treated like ass because he, you know, he looks like a toad. <laughs> it's, it's a shame, really. So that's where we're gonna go. We're gonna go down to pick him, so... Grandad, as Jangus calls him, can, uh... Have a drink. Or buy more of them. Back. Nope, I'm otherwise okay, I believe. Let me have a look. Yep, I'm alright. Don't need chimera wings. Really don't need moonwall balls, because you really get paralyzed in this game. Um... Uh, I can't remember what else. Can't remember, but I don't really use moon water balls. You can buy three of them to make a, a more powerful version of it, but it sells for a lot more, so that's also a uh, 
something you can consider. Now, before I forget, I'm going to zoom all the way back to the Riverside Chapel, go up to the, the chest area, which I forgot before, and actually get the bitch, because I'm... I think I know what it is. I believe it's a scythe. More specifically, I believe it's a farmer's scythe, but I can't be sure. Farmer's scythe can be used in the pot, so that's good. You know, I can just go up there, can I? Yeah, farmer's scythe can be used in the alchemy pot with some other things, of course. But uh, my alchemy list so far, the one I put together, it finishes at Pick'em. Well, not specifically out pick and it goes on a little while after, but I'll have to update it again. I have to go ahead and look through, you know, stuff to make any sense, but I need to go, I need to essentially just look through it and uh, find stuff for the next area, stuff I can make, stuff I can't make. I mean, I can make loads of things when I get to pick them, but I'm only going to get the stuff I actually need or uh, actually want to buy. And it actually is worth it, so... Because there's a lot of, like, every new town opens up loads more items that you could buy, find, or whatever. Especially in Pick'em because of the casino. The casino is a bastard, it really is. Silk robe. Hang on, that's the, that's the, that's the, uh, where the hell did I, yeah, I got three of them. I can make stuff with them, too. Oh, huh, I'm trying to remember what it is. Yeah, sorry, I can't remember every item in this game at the top of my head. But anyway, as I was saying, when you get to a new town, you open access to new items either by smashing stuff or, um, you know, stuff like that. So, uh, you know, I completely lost track of what the hell I was talking about, haven't I? Basically, you get new items or gain access to new items every town, so your alchemy list expands. That's why it's important to note them down prior to me getting there. So I know what I want to buy immediately, put, put them in an order and what's going to be most helpful to me. Um, and for those people who are interested, I'm going to be making, well, I don't think I'm going to be making the Mercury's Bandana right out of the gate. If I could, I'd be overpowered as hell, and more than I already am. I'm going to be making the White Shield, I'm going to be making an Eros Bow, and I'm also going to be making Iron, an Iron Curseus? It's basically an Iron chest plate. Oh, and iron shields. Wait. I don't have to make iron shields. I can just buy them. So, let's see. Hang on. Where the hell am I going? No, oh, yeah. I gotta basically stick to the left. When I get to that chest, I'm just gonna zoom back to a scan for a continue on where we were going in the first place. Slime Knight's up here. And now you will all die. Alright, so. <laughs> bit, bit morbid, really. Attack and attack. The monsters on the way to pick them are pretty strong, to be honest. There's a... I can't remember what it's called, but it's basically a house you can sleep in. Don't worry, nothing will attack you, just some random house. It's like a, um, it's a random inn. That's essentially on the way down there, which you can go to. So I saw a couple items on the way down there, but I'm not too fussed with them. Because I believe they're either parts, or parts, like, little, you know, stuff that's primarily for the alchemy part, or... Just other stuff that I don't really need, so I'm not really that fast. Just want to get to pick them, to be honest. I don't know how far we're going to get. I know I'll definitely get to pick them, that's not a problem. I just wonder how far we're going to get to the next storyline of pick them. I don't know. Because, you know, Yangus is going, Oh, we need to find brains. He will hopefully tell us where Domagus is. There's the chest! You are going to be mine very soon, my little red and yellow thing. Box. Yeah, let's give it that. You are now mine! Mwah! Seed of life! Well, I was way off on the police scythe accident, didn't I? Alright, zoom back to... the Scanfer. Now all we need to do is go south. Immediately south, and just keep going south to the end of time. Well, not really, because we'll get to pick up at some point. Alright. Let me go uh, zoom out a bit. Alright, now, if you look at where the arrow is, on my character, you all go down a bit and there's like some bush area that's essentially there. Um, you go down a bit more and you see this circle by a lake. That is where the inn is. And and then if you go further down, there's like a path. That is the path which leads into Pickham. So it's a fair while down, but we will get there. Don't worry about that. Um, we'll just probably take a lot of damage on the way. 
And usually every time I go down here, I have to explore every friggin' path that's on the way down there looking for random items that I probably won't use. So unless I can remember something distinctly as I'm going down there, I'm just going to run to pick them. That's all I'm going to do. Obviously, I'm going to fight monsters on the way. If I do see a chest, I'll go ahead and grab it. But I'm not going to go out of my way just to grab a chest. Like, no. They don't want to do that. I'm surprised we didn't find the... Actually, is that here or is it in Pick'em where it does that? Not in Pick'em, the area around it. Because there's a set of monsters, right? The reason I brought this up is because Bo... What is one of them? And there's three types. There's Mom. Or Mom, I believe it is. There's Mom, there's Bo, and there's another one. I can't remember its name, but it's a massive ball. It looks like a cannonball. And when they're together... They'll combine to make a Exodia. Well, not Exodia, right? But it's a similar type of thing. They'll combine and make a much tougher frigate monster. And it's ridiculous. The monster design looks a lot like a... A... Uh, like when they combine, it looks a lot like a... Uh, I can't remember. In, in, in The best way to describe it is in Dragon Ball. The original Dragon Ball. When they had the, the suits of like armor and that they used... Not, not like, you know, medieval suits. Someone about like robot suits, like mechish type of things. How they type of that. That's what it kind of looks like. Uh, uh, I thought you'd be dead. Well, you'd be dead now. Ducka, 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 ducka. Alrighty then, let's keep going down. Alrighty then. There's the beach over there. Just check the map. Yeah, we're going way... Okay, the... The, um... Chapel's on the right. I probably want to go there just for the sake of it. So it's on there for the map. I may need to go there later on. Alright, I need to cut through... This bit on the right. Well, we're not at... We're not at Pickham's Monster Horde yet. you know when you see it because it'd be a lot... Yeah, like more enemies that we haven't seen. One's like a gorilla with a massive club. One's like a hooded dude who's ridiculously buff and he throws rocks at you. Um, you know, there's different, there's different ones, but those are the two main two I remember being here. Yeah, I'm going the way. I'm going around the rock way. I don't need to do that. Over the hill. Nope, Hell Hornets, we already know what you do. Well, you just die. That's essentially what they do. And poison you occasionally. And they're dead. Because they don't have a high defense value at all. Yangus leveled. More OP. For yeah, health increased by 14. Yeah. Uh, for strength, agility, yep. This is the point where Yanga starts to slow down on his ability gaining. Can't raise it anymore. Alright, one point in humanities. Because if you remember Yangus when he leveled up, gained like 8, 9 points a level. Jessica starts off as that too. Angelo is like the reverse. He's like kind of casual all the time. He's like more paced together. Mini demons. These are like a recolor of imps. And they kind of do the exact same thing, but are much tougher. However, I do believe they can class... Class... Middle level spells? I'm not too sure. I forgot been a while. Oh, we won't find out because they died. Alright. I completely forgot the order in which everyone levels up. This place rips you off. Welcome to the Lakeside Cabin. It's a wonderful place for travelers on their way to a scan from Pickham to have a rest. It is because of that. But uh, this place costs cost you a lot compared to other uh, inns. 
It's not like extreme, but it, it you know, you do notice it. It's the diary of a weapons dealer. Dear diary, I heard a great rumor on the pub today. It seems you can convert a common leather whip into a snakeskin whip using an alchemy pot. I have already done so. Sounds like all you need is a whip and an item with scales. I wonder if I have a weapon. With, if I wonder if I have a weapon with, sca with scales in my shop. Can't wait to go to work tomorrow. Interesting. Holy cow! Wait, are you a safe guy? He is as well. <laughs> 